To do calculations with the mirror, there's two main equations you need to know. You need to know that the center of curvature is twice your focal length. So if you're given your focal length, then you double it to get your center of curvature. The other thing you need to know is that one over your focal point, and let's make those focal points so that we don't get them confused with frequency, is one over di, which is your distance to your image, plus one over do. And then to get our magnification, that's negative di over do, or it's hi over HO. And sometimes what we'll do is we'll set this part of the equation equal to each other. So you might be finding the magnification or you might be using the, mag the equivalences in the magnification equation to find the height of the image or the height of the object. Okay, in order to have the math work out, we need to have some sign conventions. So basically, anything that's not really there is going to be negative. So if it's not real, it's going to be negative. If it's real, it's going to be positive. So what's that mean? That means our focal point. Our focal point for a concave mirror. A concave mirror has the focal point outside the mirror, because here's our concave mirror and our focal points here and the lights coming in this way so and so the light will come in and it'll bounce off this and bounce through our focal point and so the focal point is really on that side so um, focal point for a concave mirror is positive for a convex mirror convex mirror your light comes in this way and bounces off this way and so it appears to focus back here it's not really focusing so convex mirrors have a negative focal point now distances your di your object distance do is pretty much always positive your image distance if it's real it's going to be positive because remember a real image is formed when the light rays really cross. You, know, you have real light rays. If it's virtual, so if you have a virtual image, you're going to end up with a negative DI. So that's one of the ways you can tell if it's real or virtual, if you end up with a positive DI or a negative DI. So applying it to a problem, where will the image of a two meter tall truck place 10 meters in front of a concave mirror with a focal length of 0.5 meters be located. Okay, so the focal length of our mirror is five is 0.5 mirrors. So we have one over our focal point is equal to one over di plus one over do. We're looking for di. So our focal point, one over 0.5 is equal to we're looking for di, so we're going to leave that, plus, okay, so which one? 2 meters or 10 meters is our do. Okay, since the truck is placed 10 meters in front of the mirror, that's the distance to our object. This is the height of the object. So we're going to use 1 over 10 as our do. So you want to use on your calculator, you want to use that x to the minus 1 button. So this is going to be 0.5 to the minus 1, and then we're going to subtract the 1 tenth because we need to move that over here. So that's going to be minus 10 to the minus 1, and that's going to equal 1 over di. So we end up with 1 over di equals... So 1 over di equals 1.9... So we need di, so we have to flip that over. And so when we flip that over, that is going to give us di equals 0.53 meters. Okay, so this is where we'll find our image. If we put a screen 
at 0.53 meters in front of, or 53 centimeters in front of our mirror, we should actually be able to see our car in the mirror, or actually on the screen. So is this image real or virtual? Okay, we know that it is real because it's positive. Since this is a positive 0.53 meters, this is a real image. Now then the question magnified or reduced, that's a little bit trickier. Or to find out if it's magnified or reduced, we're going to use the magnification equation. So the magnification equation says that the magnification is negative di over do. Okay, so our di is 0.53 and our DO was the 10 meters in front of 10 meters so that's going to give us a magnification of 0 0.053 so that since this is less than 1 that means that it's smaller it's reduced since it's less than 1 it's reduced and then the negative or the orientation okay remember this is a real image so the orientation is inverted since it's a real image. Real images are always inverted. We can also tell that because our magnification is going to end up being negative also. And so when we do our HI over HO, okay, our height of our image, we don't know what it is. Our height of our object is 2 meters and that's going to equal a negative 0 0.053 and so when we solve for HI we get a negative 0 0.106 meters and so what that tells us, the negative there tells us it's inverted. Okay, same idea, same question except for now our car is in front of a convex mirror so the difference is, the only difference is we're using the same equation, 1 over focal point is 1 over di plus 1 over do, same equation, but since it's a convex mirror, remember a convex mirror has a negative focal length, so we're going to make this a negative 0.5 is equal to 1 over di plus 1 over 10, and so solving for di we get Whatever di is negative 2.1, and so di, when we flip that over, is 0.48 meters. Negative 0.48 meters, because we have the negative there. And so this tells us that it's a virtual image. Okay, since our di is closer closer than our DO, since the image is closer to the mirror than the object, it's going to be reduced. Okay, we can actually find out how tall that is. Remember I said at the beginning we could use the DI over DO is equal to HI over HO to find out the actual height. We know that it's a negative of a negative 0.48 over 10 is equal to, we don't know HI, that's what we're looking for, over the 2 meters that it originally was. So solving for HI, we get, cross multiply, divide, we get 0 0.096 meters. So that is much smaller than the original 2 meters of the car, so it does get reduced. And since it's virtual, it will be an upright image. That because our HI is positive, so it's upright, and that would be everything. So, these are the same basic ideas that we're going to be applying to all of our mirror calculations.